Hi, my name is Chris Mullins, and um, I want to welcome you to the AllThat'sCool.com product spotlight webcast number two, uh, featuring 30 boxes. This is our second attempt at a webcast, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is 30 boxes. Uh, if you go to 30boxes.com and sign up for an account, uh, you won't be sorry, uh, I promise. Uh, so that's 30 boxes, that's 30boxes.com and just sign up for an account. Uh, 30 Boxes is a online calendaring application. Um, I'm just going to spend a few minutes talking about the basic functionality of 30 Boxes and also highlight some of the uh, functions that make 30 Boxes truly unique. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, you'll see this open text box here and what that is is it's a quick way for you to add events to your calendar using natural language it's a really cool function so for example if I have a vet appointment tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, I just click add and there it is it just shows up in in my calendar uh, at the right time and um, it does that via natural language so if I just click on that event click on the edit you can see uh, the other things that you can add to that event for instance if I wanted this to if this vet appointment is a monthly thing um, I could actually make it repeat um, and show up in the calendar every month um, I can add notes to that I can tag it so I can tag tag this event um, so that I can f you know quickly find it uh, l later on um, or find other events like it so say for instance uh, I'm just going to tag this personal and dog so um, whenever I need to <coughs> find this event or other events like it I can look under personal or dog um, I can also make this event private because one of the cool things with 30 boxes is you can actually share your calendar or specific parts of your calendar or specific tags of your calendar with your coworkers, with your spouse um, with whomever you like um, so if I wanted to keep this private, I could just click the private button and, and nobody I'm sharing calendars with will be able to see that. Um, if I wanted to get a reminder via my email or through um, uh, a text message, an SMS text message on my uh, mobile phone, I could do that by saying uh, I, I want a reminder one day before the event. Um, I could also invite people to this event that I wanted to... Um, uh, you know, for for whatever reason, if I wanted to invite my spouse to this event, uh, and she's not already uh, a 30 boxes, uh, uh, if she already doesn't have a 30 boxes calendar, I can just type in her email here. It'll automatically send her an email saying that she's been invited to um, this event, and uh, if she wants to accept it or not, that's up to her. But either way, you can get it out there like that. So um, I'm just going to click update the event. I'm going to go up here if I wanted to uh, find that event later I could look at you know look visually here on the calendar or I could go up here and find and click on my personal or dog tag um, and click on that and it'll show me all the events that are tagged under dog so I think that's a pretty cool pretty cool function okay so let's say I have uh, an appointment on Monday this coming Monday with uh, John Doe from uh, Dell and um, so what I'll do is I'll just go, let's see, meeting uh, with John Doe from Dell. And we're going to say that's from 12.30 to uh, 1.30 p.m. And we'll back up here. We'll say that's this coming Monday. Monday. Um, and we'll also tag this. We'll go up here and add the word tag. We'll tag it business. Oops. If I can spell correctly here. And we'll tag it business. And we're also going to add brackets. Um, anytime you add brackets, uh, what's in between the brackets should be an address. And what that does is that creates an external le link to Google Maps. So we'll just say that this event is at 1404. Corona Drive in Austin, Texas. And uh, we'll close the bracket and we'll just add the event. So now this is going to show up this coming Monday, the 24th, and it's going to show meeting with John Doe from Dell. And if I click on the event, 
it'll show a map so it's going to have an external link for a map to Google so I'll just click on that it'll pop up Google it'll show me where it's at so that's a really cool thing um, so that's that, that's the basic functionality of, of 30 boxes um, you can also go in here and you can click on the day and you can add an event yourself directly into that day so you can bypass this I, I find the um, the natural language uh, entry box is the easiest way to enter um, an event into 30 boxes well let me just show you some of the other cool things about 30 boxes Let's just go up here to my settings and we'll say web stuff so I can actually go in here and add feeds uh, if I have uh, um, feeds to um, in an RSS feed for specific websites that I like I can actually add feeds to to my calendar um, you can see I've added one to all that's cool um, added one for uh, the weather here in Austin um, I can also add photos from Flickr um, I can add events from upcoming um, I can add uh, st you know, information from MySpace or live journal so you can also go down here and you can add live calendar so if you have an iCal calendar uh, that you use you can actually add it directly to your 30 boxes account or to your 30 boxes calendar and uh, another thing you can do is you can syndicate this so I can actually create feeds um, of my 30 boxes calendar um, in many different ways I can do an iCal subscription um, I can do a uh, s s comma separated file um, multiple different ways of, of, of syndicating this calendar so that's that's really cool um, let me just go back here to my calendar and I'll show you that uh, you can actually like I said before you can share your calendar with multiple people so I can have uh, if I wanted to add someone to my calendar I can send them an email um, there are multiple ways of doing that as well um, so that's really cool to be able to share your calendar um, another thing that I wanted to point out is let me just close this close and another thing I wanted to point out here is when, on those feeds say for instance I added the RSS feed well on the day that say new uh, a, a new entry into the all this cool blog happens then it, this little RSS icon will show up on my calendar so if I actually click on that it'll sh give you uh, what time the entry was uh, entered into the, that that blog or that specific RSS uh, enabled website and give you a little little image um, also you can see, look here and see the weather where I've added the weather it'll, it'll say well on the 21st which is um, today um, today is supposed to be low 63 and a high of 85 and partly cloudy tomorrow 66 and 90 so it gives you kind of like the the rough five-day forecast but uh, so that that's really cool um, you also have the functionality of being able to look at all the the months in advance and you can see what's on your calendar or what's you know if you have have events on your calendar you can also move your calendar up or down so I can move up a week two weeks three weeks whatever by just clicking on these little buttons I can move back and back in time on my calendar um, you know or if I click on this this will take you to the current day's calendar so um, anyway I wish I had more time to go over all the functions on this but uh, since we only have uh, you know 10 or 10 or 12 minutes here to to go over all this stuff uh, because of limitations with with you know, bandwidth and video and everything uh, or, or at least on my side um, I don't have a whole lot of time but anyway uh, that's the basic functionality of 30 boxes and um, definitely definitely if you get a chance to go sign up for it do because it's it's a, a wonderful calendar um, just recently Google has come out with their own uh, online calendar and um, I started playing with that a little bit as well and it's it, it's it's a pretty close uh, runner-up to 30 boxes so um, I plan on doing a spotlight of that um, in the coming coming days as well so make sure you check back for that one as well and you can kind of do the comparison yourself to which one you like but I'm definitely a uh, 30 boxes fan and I look forward to seeing them adding more functionality and growing so anyway like I said go to 30boxes.com that's 30boxes.com and sign up